Giving blood has always been a vital service, and under lockdown, that hasn't changed. Donating is uh, classified under Welsh Government guidelines as essential travel. It's an important um, support to all of the patients within Wales at this difficult and challenging time. Um, and I would encourage people to still turn out for our service. But there are some big changes to how those services will be run. The time has come for us to work differently. We'll now be operating from a smaller number of strategically located regional donation hubs. These hubs will be in different locations each week. Your nearest hub might not be as close to home as usual, and the clinic times might not be as convenient. All we ask is that you try your best to attend, as long as you're fit and well. So can people still donate safely? Safety for the blood service is our key priority. Um, we have some additional measures in place uh, at collections themselves. What we've been able to do is introduce triage, which means there's some extra questions that they'll have. And we've had to obviously accommodate social distancing uh, within our clinics. And also we've got a higher level of cleanliness within our clinics where uh, regular wipe down of equipment and seating areas is taken place between each donor. The good news is there's no evidence coronavirus can be spread through blood and if you've tested positive you can still donate 14 days after showing symptoms. Despite a recent dip in donations, regular donors like Gary know just how important it is to continue to turn up. I've donated uh, blood um, uh, for, for some years now. Um, and I think it's a vital service that the Welsh Blood uh, Service provides to, um, you know, to, to, to Wales. Um, and I think it's important to support them, uh, even more so at the moment with um, the, the current issues that we have uh, across the UK. For now, stocks in Wales are good, but 350 donations are needed here every day. And the service is relying on those who can still donate to keep it that way. Alexandra Hartley, ITV News.